Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well, had a great weekend, whatever you're up to, but thank you for tuning in. We are here again today kicking off with this team that we played last week on the channel. We've made some alterations because there was a few things that we looked at last week when we were playing with the team that we thought maybe we could tweak here and there. So we've not made a lot of changes. But the changes I will go over in a minute, but before we do, the team is always is down in the description. If you'd like to check it out, then there is a roll paste and a poker paste. You can try it out yourselves, take it away, and if you do, make sure to let me know how you get on with the team. So just to recap the team going into this week, because after this week we will be going into a brand new team. If you've got suggestions that you'd like me to play, we've got a bot load that we've had already that I'm taking into consideration, but if you've got any strong preferences with what you'd like to see played next week, then let me know down below in the comments and I'll make sure to try and feature them going forward. So just to recap the team, we've got the Minetric, it is the Mega of the team. This is where one of the changes came in. We had Hidden Power Water, but we didn't really use it very much last week. And we did mention on Friday how useful probably something like Eerie Impulse would be. So that laws your opponents Pokemon's uh, the, the target Pokemon's special attack by two stages when hit by that status condition so um, if not a status condition status move obviously and um, so we, we've replaced in power and put that on there for the Minetric and then the other change we've made to the team was the Lunala um, we have taken off raw it was very useful but I feel like wide guard would be a lot more useful so we've replaced royal with wide guard there um, and then I think we got rid of magic room on Tapu Lele and give it taunt so they're all the changes I think the little tweaks are, are always the good things to do in a team without making big changes because the team is actually working quite well um, and I've had some games with this team off off uh, off episode and uh, it's been doing all right so hopefully we can continue that on and have a really strong finish with this team and I've got to admit it's probably one of my favorite teams that I've created in the ultra series so I am really enjoying it and I think this this team's capable of kind of coming up against most archetypes in the format so uh, apart from when we got absolutely bopped by the trick room team last week and if you haven't seen last week's episodes and you'd like to check them out before coming into the second week with the team then I'll put a card up there for you, and uh, we can you can catch up and then come into today's episode. So, without further ado, we've got the music on. I guess it's time just to get into the battles. And as always, if you do enjoy this type of content, guys, please remember to drop a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments because I love hearing from you. And I will say one thing, we're not even in the right screen. So there we are, rating. 1750. I have been playing a little bit, but hopefully we can continue that. 1796 Japanese player rated to kick us off today. What a treat for us all. And we've got, we've got, we've got, there we go. There we go. Green screen. What are you doing? Green screen is playing up today. I'm going to have like leakage over here. Anyway, let's get into team preview and we can get into this first one today. Ah, oh, the chaos. So we've got our first opponent, Andy, is playing Salamence, Cortana, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Kyoga, and a Dusk Main Necrozma, which is likely to be Ultra Necrozma because of that inclusion of the Tapu Lele there. So we've got to try and see what we can do around this team. You're going to have Mega Salamence, going to be the Mega on the team. Uh, the Z moves, obviously, going to be on the Ultra Necrozma, probably. Uh, Min or Speed Control is obviously going to be. Uh, Tailwind from Salamence or Cortana potentially. You could have Electro Web on the Tapu Koko, so that's something else to watch out for. Um, I like Manetric in this match. It's faster than everything else on my opponent's team. We have to be careful about the, the Lele in case it is scarfed. Um, but I do like Manetric here. We can do a lot of work. And it, it puts off the Tococo being so oppressive as well. So I think I will bring the Manetric. Hmm... Lunala for speed control is quite reliable, so I'm quite happy bringing Lunala up top as well. Um, Tapu Lele of our own, I think it would be very good, especially if the Ultra Necrozma does appear, and probably Kyogre in our last slot, and we'll we'll click in and get into this first one and see how we get on. Um, one of the things I was going to say before before we got rudely interrupted by our first opponent of the day was that um, I started a new job last week. Yeah, and it's um, so uh, where I used to have like a 15, 20 minute walk every day, I've now got like a 45, 45, 40 minute cycle. Uh, it's like 7.2 miles. Um, so, and then 
longer days as well. Um, so it's been pretty tiring, and obviously with Thea on the way and things like that. But basically what I'm getting around to saying is you guys have been amazingly supportive on all the content from last week and left a bunch of comments and I haven't replied to any one of you. So I'm super sorry about that. It is something that I do like to do and I will get around to doing it and hopefully, I keep saying things are settling down, but I will be finding a rhythm soon, so hopefully things will get a little bit better as we go forward. Right, now let's get into this battle because we've got Tapakoko, we've got oh, Duskman in the Crosma. Um, so I think what we could do is probably not... Mm, we have to be careful about the... Um, definitely about... Hmm, Earth power. I want to Volt Switch out on Coco, and I'm going to just set up a Tailwind while I've got the opportunity to. Hopefully we don't see Trick Room. I'm yammering too much to even concentrate on the battle, but we'll get into it right now. I promise, I promise. We'll, uh, I'm going to Volt Switching out on the Coco, because I feel like the Coco is the one thing that will attack here to potentially break a Shadow Shield on our Lunala. Um, the Duskman might protect because of the, the threat of the Z move, potentially. Uh, we're not going to see that, we're just going to see Volt Switch into the Coco. Get some decent damage off there. Preserve that Intimidate as well and keep everything in the back. Um, one of the things we could potentially do is... Uh, could bring in Kyogre. I just don't see my opponent going for an electric type attack into the Minetric slot. It's more likely they got Earth Power. Like, I could bring in Lele, but I kind of want to preserve Lele until that Duskman decides to Ultra Burst. Okay, we'll bring in Kyogre. I just don't see you attacking. Like, you don't, unless you do what, like, we did, Volt Switch out onto the Electric type, because it's likely they don't protect, so we might see that. That wouldn't be ideal for us. Could be the first trap we fall into, but hopefully it's not. We'll get the Primordial Sea up, and we should get our Tailwind up. Um, sky drop. Took Lunala up into the sky. Hmm. No tailwind for us. And then trick room. That works out like a lot better for us, to be honest. Like it really does. Now the Coco's out of the equation here. Um, but we do have the potential to go for a water spout uh, with a Kyogre. And um, we definitely don't want to go for a Tailwind now. Uh, I could just go for a Psy Shock into the, the type of Coco. Um, Moon Guy's Beam probably is a bit stronger, so I'll go for that just because Psy Shock might miss the knockout there. And we want to we wanna pick up the knockout onto the to the Coco. And the Intimidate's obviously handy there. Um, we are taking it in the, the Dusk Main Slar. Coco does avoid that. The Water Spout, single target. I don't know if it is actually clocked as single target though. There's a sky drop. Lunala not going to be able to attack here, but a uh, uh, Shadow Shield busted. So, what are we looking at right now? Um, we know the, the Necrozma is slower than our Kyogre. It's probably going to be able to get another Photon Geyser off. But we could potentially just go for a Scald and then... Um, do we Z-move into the Coco? It's just I feel like it's probably a Salt Vest. Is it Salt Vest or not? Or is it just a, a support one? It's just I don't want to... Um, the screen today! The screen. The screen. Everything's falling apart behind me. Um, I do apologise. I'm very sorry. The equipment. Um, I'm going to go for the Moonguys Beam. The the Z move into the Coco. Just to make sure. Because I want to get rid of it. I don't want to I don't want to attack into it. And it turn out to be not a Salt Vest. And then... Um, yeah, we take another Photon guys. Skull here should be enough to get the, the Dusk main. Yeah, so we pick up the knockout there. And we'll guarantee the knockout onto the Coco with the Z move now. Which we will be able to do. We're going to have to cut this scene. Which might give me an opportunity to fix my backdrop. Because hopefully we don't want to see leaking leaking in. But yeah, we should pick up the knockout. Um, it's just, like I say, I don't want to risk it if it's a salt vest. And hitting into the Coco, it should be more than enough. Even a salt vest here will be, uh, yeah, we're just, it's a bit overkill, but at the same time, if it is a salt vest, it's likely that the Moon Guys Beam or the Side Shock doesn't pick up the knockout. Uh, Kyogre and Lunala. We're probably going to see Kyogre come in from my opponent, but we do have the Y God that we haven't revealed yet, which might be useful to us. Um, oh, it's Tapu Lele. And if that is Scarf Lele, hmm. 
It's tricky, isn't it? No, oh, it's not Scarf. Okay. So we need to stall out this tailwind. Hmm. Seed Lele. This is where Cartona would have been. Extremely, extremely good. Uh, okay, we've got our own Tapu Lele. It's just about what's slower on my opponent's end. You've got to imagine that Kyogre's probably slower than ours. Um, but that Kyogre's probably slower than the Lele. Hmm. I just don't want to. Uh, how many turns of Trick Room we got? Two. We could be cheeky and try and get a Scald off into the, the Lele and Wide Guard. Um, probably not a bad idea to do. And then that gets us around at least one of these turns of Trick Room. Um, and what we've got in the back, I think we should be alright. Yeah, there's the Water Spout, so we, we will avoid that. Hopefully, our Kyogre's slower than the Lele. Yeah. Okay, let me get this off. Burn, 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 no burn. Oh, Shadow Ball. Not what we want to see. Okay, that's not the worst. Not the end of the world. Uh, we'll bring him in Etric. I would have brought in Tapu Lele, but the thing is, with Tapu Lele, we can't protect, so we would be prone to taking a water spot from this opposing Kyogre. Um. Intimidate's not going to matter too much now. It's not going to be easy tying this one up, to be honest. The the Lele is a bit tricky. Um, especially because the Water Spout will probably take down our own Kyogre now. I think I'm going to just double protect here, just to be a bit passive. Get rid of this last turn of Trick Room, and then we're in a, a little bit of a better, a better place going into this next turn, where we can try and target down this Kyogre. Because it, it's likely to attack here. Yeah, and then the next turn I would say it's likely to protect. And that's where we can try and try and do some stuff, I guess. <sighs> it's whether or not I want to switch in Tapu Lele now. Um Or do I want it do I want to snarl? Or eerie impulse? Like I'm gonna scold the Lele. And I'm going to Eerie Impulse it as well. And I'm going to hope that the Kyogre protects on my opponent's side of the field. No! Uh, okay, well that's not the end of the world. Because the ally switches, pulls a Kyogre in. We get the minus two onto it, so that's fine. Okay, first game we are actually using it. Scald's not really going to do too much to it. But... Ally switch revealed. Uh, okay, it's not too bad. What are we going to see? Water spout, okay. I mean, we, we should take this with both, both, yeah. I mean, Minetric's not taking that overly well. Um, I mean, I could protect. I could protect, and I could just snarl here. I think snarling's not bad, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna snarl. I'm gonna snarl. And if we see more shenanigans again, then then at least we get around it. No, ally switch. But Kyogre's like minus three now, so we're in a we're in a lot better position. It's just that opposing Lele that's a bit of a pain to deal with. Um Minetric will go down likely here. Yeah. And then the Kyogre go for an origin pulse. Thunder. Okay. Uh not so ideal. Not so ideal. <sighs> okay. Now, Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele, what, have we, what, have, what can we do? I don't think we can take down the opposing Lele. Ah. This is, yeah, the thunder is a bit of a pain. Um, like, you don't really want to lock into Psychic. Because then we can't really hit the... The, the opposing Tapu Lele is hard. And it's got Shadow Ball as well, which is the big problem. I'm going to double into the Lele, I think, here. Um, with a Moonblast. Could I do anything else? That's the question. Could I do anything else? Skill Swap's not really going to do anything here. Taunt, uh, Psychic. I'm going to Moonblast. I'm going to double the Lele. Because I think that's the one thing that will attack here. And I think the Kyogre... Okay. Okay, another ally switch. Kind of... Well... If we get a special attack drop... This would be this would be worth it. 
Oh, we get the burn. That would be even better. Burn! 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 Burn, baby, burn. Thunder. Okay. Kyogre will go to minus three mind. Will it? Yeah. It's, it's enough. <laughs> it's more than enough. Okay. Right. The burn is helping us out. We don't really need to concentrate too much on that Kyogre right now. The psychic terrain has disappeared. We have to worry about the Shadow Ball from the opposing Lele. Um, but two Moon Blasts should take it down. Can we do this? Can Lele do do the work? Come on, Lele. Let's do this. My favourite tapu of all time. Come on, Lele. Don't let me down in this moment. This moment of truth. We need, we need, we need you to pull through. We need big damage. Special attack drops. We need all, all the shenanigans here to get the win. Come on, Moonblast. Yes. No, ally switch now. Come on. Special attack drop would be beautiful. Come on. No. Okay. What's this going to be like? Minus one. Ugh, it's too much. Scald. Minus three. In the rain. We do take it. Ah, uh, this is where we can't really win now because Kyogre goes down next turn. Tapu Lele, what have we seen? We've seen Ally Switch, we've seen Shadow Ball, we've seen Psy Shock, and I'm assuming it's got Protect. Have we seen a fourth move? I don't know. Like, my opponent just double attacks here and they win. Like, that is the, the plane. The only way for me to win this is for them to protect something. Um, like, protect the Tapu Lele, attack with the Kyogre, because it's going to go down anyway. And that would that would then maybe give them... But that, that would mean they're cocking up. I'm going to Moonblast the Kyogre in the hope of doing this, but I just don't see it happening. Yeah, they're going to Shadow Ball. Hmm. Seed Lele... This is where Cartana would have been. Yeah, Shadow Ball. It's going to be too much. Very close. Very good game to my opponent. Nice way for us to kick off today. But... Mm, never like a loss. Never like a loss. Mm. Just trying to think where we could have maybe went a little bit differently there. Um, I think Cartana and the selection would have been the thing to bring. Um, really, when when you look at it overall, Cortana would have been better there, especially for that end game. But um, and there was that moment, that brief moment in team preview where I was thinking about it over the Kyogre, but then we opted for the Kyogre, so we can't really blame that. So we'll get back into our main screen, see what dent that's made on our points. Hopefully, not too much. Um, and let me just try and sort this screen out here because this is really not great it's not great but that might be better there we go okay let's get some music on now oh, we haven't taken that much of a dent Kanto Pokemon next opponent another high rate opponent from Japan Tomped it was the Japanese nationals this weekend if you guys haven't watched that hit me up uh, check my Twitter account out I tweeted up the the link to the live stream it's all there on YouTube now for you to rewatch some really good games but we'll get into this next one one of my favourite cores in this format, the Lunala Groudon. And then you've got a supporting cast of Kangaskhan, Tapu Fini, Incineroar and Staka Taka. So kind of familiar things that you're going to see with this restricted core. It's going to go for Trick Room more than anything. Um, you can't take away the fact that there could be a Tailwind mod to support something like the Kangaskhan. Uh, but double fake out there, you know, one of them got in... Intimidate as well from the Incineroar. Then you've got the Tapu Fini. It's likely going to be very slow to support that Primal Groudon. And then the Stack Attacker, which is the slowest thing in the world. Um, in the world of Pokemon, anyway. Kyogre going to be really big for us here, you know. Um, Kyogre is going to be very important um, for us, especially with that Groudon, the Incineroar, uh, and the Stack Attacker. So making use of that is going to be really important. I think uh, Cortana as well is going to be very useful for us. And Tapu Lele being able to deny my opponent their modes of um, setting up the, the Tailwind and stuff like that. So I'm going to lead Lunala. I'm going to lead Kyogre. Bring Tapu Lele and I'm going to throw Cortana in the back and I think we're going to lock in with these four. <sighs> so what I'm going to hopefully see is my opponent try to lead out with those in 
does fake out as like ideally it would be incineral because we've got the lunala and then what we can do turn one is either switch in um lele for kyogre and z move the lunala or we can um vice versa uh, lele for lunala and, and water spout with kyogre to get rid of oh we're gonna see groudon come out not so good for our, our, our Luna, uh kyogre lead because the groudon likely slower likely will be under speeding our kyogre so, ooh, no, um, no weather for us. Not, not this time around. It's a nice lead from my opponent, um, predicting that we potentially lead this to kind of cover our Lunala because the Kyogre I feel does cover against the Incineroar, which is probably one of the more bigger threats. Um, can you normally see from from your opponent? So, um, hmm like what we've got in the back though for this lead which kind of makes things very difficult for us uh, and can we stop the um, the tailwind I don't know if we can I really don't know if we can um, now we do have wide guard which does help us out lots we've got the Z move I think it's probably good to launch that off as soon as possible into the stacker just to get some damage there um, now of everything what's better to come in like, are we going to need the Lele for later? Um, Lele is probably the one thing that we've got which we can kind of expend, I guess. It's just, if our terrain gets overwritten and we lose Lele, then our Psychic Seed is null and void with our Cortana, which makes things a little bit more difficult for us to kind of take hits, close out the match. But predominantly my opponent's team is going to be more physically based and special it's just the lunala that would be the more special side of things but we are going to see the ground on protect so we get away with that a little bit we're going to throw out the z move from lunala here um this is where the roll would have been really good obviously um but at the same time we've got wide guard for that so into the stack attack i don't expect this to pick up the knockout but it'd be nice if it did <sighs> so close isn't it so close there's a trick room no we can't really do too much about that but one thing we can do is hope that the stack attacker doesn't have doesn't have skill swap that would be the one first thing that we need to uh we need to try and get around um the next thing is the white guard that we've got here that we're going to make use of now and get our kyoga back on the field because if they don't have skill swap then we're in a nice position to get Kyogre in pretty safely here. You've got to imagine that the, the stack attack are probably Jara Balls or Lunala, which will do respectable damage, especially when we haven't got Intimidate support here. Um, but bringing Manetric to this sort of game, it's not really that best suited just for Intimidate when we can get around it in other ways. So we'll launch off the Wide Guard. Hopefully we see a Precipice Blade thrown out from the... Uh, the, the ground on. I'm going to see the gyro ball, but it's into that what was Lele slot into Kyogre now. Uh, and a substitute coming up from the ground on. Okay. Don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Um, because we can. We can. We can. We can. I guess we just. Uh, do we water spout or do we. Um, hmm. I don't really want to take. I do want to take the stacker down. That's the thing. Now, I don't think my opponent, I really, I'm going to hope my opponent doesn't go Precipice Blades here. I'm going to go Moon Guys Beam into the Stack Attacker, and I'm going to Scald into the Groudon. And hopefully we might see a Wide Guard as well, which would be, uh, I'm just going for Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball! Okay, dude, nice damage. Uh, called a bluff, but because Precipice Blades is such a dodgy move, um, it does miss Kyogre. We're not able to take it. We are going to get the Scald off. The Wide Guard would have been the better call there. Um, we want to make sure we're trying to get rid of the uh, the, the sub on the Groudon. And then this next turn, we can we can Wide Guard and Water Spout, and it will be enough to get the Groudon at least. The Moon Guys Beam here going to be enough to take down the Stack Attacker. So once we can hopefully stall out these turns of Trick Room, then we might be in a decent position to kind of close up this game. We're going to have to worry about opposing Lunala coming in now. So it's all about protecting our Lunala, I feel, more than anything else. Um, it's just whether or not we see Tapu Fini in the back. That would be a bit annoying. Now, the opposing Lunala coming in does make things a little bit difficult. 
because we're likely going to see Moongo's beam into our Lunala. Um, or a Psy Shock. I'm kind of tempted. Hmm. How many turns of Tailwind Trick Room? We've got two. Okay, we can we can get through these turns, I feel. I feel we can. Okay, let's bring in Cortana. And let's... Do we Scald the Groudon? Let's just... Yeah, I don't, I'm going to Scald it because I don't want it to get another substitute up. If we allow it to get a substitute up, that's never going to be good for us. We're just going to be on the back foot. So protecting here would have been ideal, but at the same time... Uh, I don't want to fall into the trap where that guard on able to get another substitute up and uh, like we're seeing now and we're not punishing that we're just allowing it um, to get that up and we are slower than the opposing Lunala so that's interesting that's good information going into um, at least the next turn um, so we do see the guard on just go for that sub Moongo's beam it's going to be into our Lunala for sure because they've got to check that slot they have to check that slot that's the thing um, I mean, that's crazy damage, isn't it? That is that is big crazy damage. We can... I think what I'm going to do is Smart Strike and Water Spout here. Because if we can break the Shadow Shield on the Lunala, that would be ideal. If we say Y Guard, that's not going to be ideal. But we haven't Water Spouted at all. So my opponent is probably in the, the mind frame that, yeah, they're going to carry on going for the Scald because that's what they've been going for because they expect Wide Guard so why waste Wide Guard when my opponent's not really going for that spread damage so hopefully we can catch my opponent off guard now be amazing. Groudon going to switch out so it can get the weather back later. We're going to see Tapu Fini now hit the field. We don't really want to be losing Cartana in this situation but at the same time breaking the Shadow Shield is the, the main thing that we want to do. I'm hoping that the Lunala attacks into the Kyogre here and leaves our Cartana alone, but I don't think they're going to. Ooh, we're going to see a Z-move. It's going to be into the Kyogre, I think. Um, I reckon... Can we take it? That's the thing. I don't know. I feel like there's, there's a chance we can take it. It's into Cartana. Okay. That's, that's sad to see Cartana go down, but... Not really much else we could do here. Does switch off those dimensions but this does mean that we are able to get our Lunala back on the field now does the Tapu Fini have an attack to take our Lunala down I just don't think they do I'm going to Moon Guys Beam into the opposing Lunala I need to get Kyogre off the field um, because with the Groudon in the back, we've got to keep in mind that the Groudon could come in at any time. Uh, so I need to try and preserve our Kyogre so we win that weather war at the end of the day. So I'm going to bring in Lele. We're kind of covered from the Lunala threat anyway by kind of attacking the opposing Lunala. So that's not the worst. We are going to see the Groudon actually switch in. So it's going to take... <clears throat> it is going to take a Moon Guy's Beam. We'll see what this Tapu Fini does. It might go for a Heal Pulse. You never know, never, never know. But my opponent's only mod of speed control is that Lunala. So if we can keep that thing checked, we'll be all right. So Moon Guys beam into the Groudon. <clears throat> Actually, oh, oh. That's, that's pretty big. It goes for the heal pulse, but it fails. Hmm. That's a bit unfortunate, because I don't think the Groudon actually gets knocked out there. So we get a bit lucky with that. Now the Lunar are going to come in on my opponent's side of the field. Uh, it is in Moon Guy's beam range. I would imagine that the, the Finny has got... <clears throat> Icy Wind. It's whether or not you go for the Icy Wind now, because we could double the Finny if the Lunala, if we expect the Lunala to, to protect. We could double the Finny, and we would probably get it with Psy Shock and Psy Kick. Um, I think I'm going to go for that. Oh, do I do a Moonblast though? That's the thing. I think probably Moonblast is better. Moonblast, Psy Shock. 
because I don't want to be locked into to Psychic against the Lunala. So I'm going to Moonblast, I'm going to Psy Shock the Finny, and I hope the Lunala protects. Okay, so my opponent forfeits. That is sad. I think we would have maybe won that. The crit on the Groudon obviously swung everything in one direction, but I think we would have been all right, uh, even without the crit. To be honest, it might have been a little bit more difficult, the heal pulse going on to it, but I mean, at that point, yeah, it's still not over by a long shot, but then my opponent's got to worry about the 50-50s, where if we double up into a certain slot, um, they're going to have icy wind support as well. So there's a lot of things that might have thing, but I, I would have felt comfortable in that position if the Groudon come in and had survived. But I'm going to wrap things up there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Uh, it's been a good one, I think, to kick us off this week. Let me know what you think of the little adjustments to changes that we've made. And obviously, we're going to finish the week up with this team. So I'm going to have a lot more games to come. So don't miss any of the episodes this week. We'll be back with more tomorrow. So until then, take care of yourselves. Thanks for tuning in and have a good one. So until then, bye-bye.